Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Season Special. We are on Spirit One, heading to the top spot of the season, but first, here is number two, a fine restaurant in Friendswood known for their chicken fried steak and foie gras gravy. Here's Brasserie 1895. In a part of Texas known for Tex-Mex and barbecue, this fancy fine establishment in Friendswood feels a bit different than the rest. We have a lot of people, foodies if you will, that come. Owner and chef Chris Jacob is originally from Poteet. What's a guy from Poteet doing down here in Friendswood? Uh, you know, uh, girls. <laughs> His wife Megan works with him at this uniquely named restaurant. 1895 for the year Friendswood was established. Brasserie, well, that's a European thing. When you go to a brasserie in Europe, they don't have suburbs, so they have neighborhoods. Oh. And each neighborhood has their own brasserie. It's a place you go hang out. Yeah. I was way off. And to complete the European feel, the je ne sais quoi, rich foundation for fine food and drink, Chef Bill from Belgium fits the bill. A lot of people ask me why Texas, so I tell them why not. <laughs> Chris and Bill were ready to throw down on the mix of Texas flavors with French flair. He's talkative when, when things aren't going right. <laughs> you know, I used to teach for 36 years, I talk enough. These two have been at each other's side since the mid-90s, when Chris went to culinary school. Everything that he did, I mean, he just changed my perspective of cooking, and I think at that point, that's when I fell in love with cooking. Well, we couldn't wait to see what these two put together. We're going with chicken fried steak with foie gras gravy. Sacre bleu! We use a lot of different products that you may not be comfortable with, but when you actually taste them, prepared correctly, it's great. First, Chris prepared beef cutlets marinated in buttermilk for three days. And we go into what I call a cow dust. Rice crispy, garlic, onion. Wow. As those fry up. Onto the green beans and the foie gras gravy. Man, that's like some fancy French cooking or something. Like, you know what you're doing? Sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> Potato puree and the pieces of steak get a stout side of foie gras gravy. The sauce gravy, if you will, is actually a white wine reduction with a chicken stock reduction with a heavy cream reduction, and then we finish it with foie gras and truffle. So let's check out the chicken fried steak with a foie gras gravy. Of course, you see the chicken fried steak, it is just sitting in a bath of that gravy with those puree potatoes and some fancy green beans. You know what? I've never had foie gras, foie gras, for how are you the furry foe while you say it, but we're just gonna go for it. I mean, we've had chicken livers in South Texas, so it can't be that bad, right? Having never tried foie gras before, I was a bit surprised. Quite frankly, freaking amazing. There's no guy around here that's gonna say, yeah, man, sure, dude, I'm up for the foie gras gravy, but once they taste it, man, it's gold. You can't get it anywhere else, and you could never replicate it. That sauce that's not overpowering, but so much more flavorful than gravy. So you know, whenever you're done with your chicken fried steak, you got all that stuff kind of piled together. Imagine getting it all sopped up with foie gras gravy. I had no idea it would be this good, and it is good. I don't really know anything about food, but I know that that's, it's really good. Well, with flavors from across the pond and a little bit of home cooking mixed all together, Brasserie 1895 in Friendswood, Texas is definitely well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. That is a true definition of this fusion between Bill and myself, you know? Oh. I'm in heaven. <laughs> it might be the best meal you've ever had.